in this video I'm going to show you how to use a digital artwork Photoshop action uh, so this photo here is the example that I'm going to use as an example for a demonstration of the action and the way the action works is you uh, open up your photo uh, you just brush over your subject and just play the action and this is the effect that the action creates okay so as you can see what the action does it'll, uh, it turns your photo into a digital painting uh, it also adds a focus to the photo so the area that you have brush will be uh, will stay in the focus and the outside area will be blurred and uh, the action also creates a 10 color looks that you can choose from um, you can also combine them for creating even more okay so let me just close these two windows so when you open your photo before you use the action there are a few things that you should check to make sure the action will run uh, without any errors so the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer so it should be called a background and have this little lock icon so if you have something like this or anything else just go to layer new and just choose a background from layer and then click on this menu icon here and just choose the panel options just make sure that add, add copy the copyright layers in groups option is checked then go to image mode and uh, make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode edit with kernel and also check the image size here so you should use the high resolution images and for best results your photo should be between about uh, 20 to 3500 pixels wide or high okay so to load the action go to window actions click on the menu icon here load actions and now just choose the uh, action according to your photoshop version alright select so the action click load and the action folder will appear here just open the folder and uh, all you have to do now is just go to layer new layer to create a new layer and just name it brush it is very important that you uh, type the, the brush exactly like this so all letters lowercase the, uh, otherwise the action won't work and all you have to do now is just uh, pick a brush tool so you can just hit B on your keyboard uh, just do some salt brush you can use square brackets on your keyboard to change the size of the brush and set foreground color uh, to any color color is not matter and just brush with your subject you don't have to be too precise alright I've already done this before so I'm just gonna open my PSD file that I have made earlier alright so it's important that when you're brushing over your photo that the, this layer here brush is selected so you have this uh, color fill uh, onto this brush layer and also that you brush with a 100% uh, opacity brush alright and all you have to do now is to just uh, select the action inside the folder and just click play and the action will uh, the action will finish pretty fast so as soon as we play okay the action is just finished so just gonna close the action panel and the first thing that you'll probably want to do is to just quickly close down all these folders so how to quickly do that is to just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for a Mac and while this group is selected here just click on this little arrow alright just like that so the first layer we got here is the brush layer so if you were to just modify this brush layer a little bit so, uh, you, you got these uh, you got these brush layers you don't need to make it again for example you can just delete this folder and if you wish to add some more areas uh, into these uh, you can just you can just brush uh, to add more areas into this. You don't have to uh, brush again all other areas that you wish to include again. All right. So you can just add additional do additional brushing. It, it doesn't matter if it's the same color or not, but you can use the same color if you want. So for example, you wish to uh, you have played the action. You wish to play it again, but you wish to add some more areas into the focus, and you wish to uh, add also these other areas. So you just have this layer. You don't have to. Uh, do all the brushing again. So you just, for example, wish to add, add this area, for example, this one here. So you can just click play button again, all right? So I'm just gonna hide the brush layer for now, and just gonna open the folder, all right? And I'm just gonna customize the effect from the bottom. So the first what we got here is the base effect. So I'm just gonna hide these two layers so you can clearly see what this layer does. Uh, this layer will simply turn your photo into the digital painting effect as you can see all right 
So this one here is a background blur. So what this layer does, it will just uh, uh, it will add the blur to the background. So when you uh, to the area uh, outside of this brush layer, right? So uh, here, here we got a, uh, your subject layer, all right? And as you can see, it's got this layer mask that is made uh, according to this uh, brushed area. So this this uh, layer here is going to give the focus. If I just hide it, you will see that the whole body will be blurred because of this layer here. Uh, there's some uh, sharp lines here that because of these two layers. So let me just hide them as well for now. So the background blur is basically going to just blur the, the whole effect, but when you turn on the, your subject layer, it's just going to remove the blur from the areas you have brushed. Just like that. Okay, so if you wish to add more areas to the, this focus, you don't have to play the action again, you can just select this layer mask, set foreground color to white, and you can brush over the other areas that you wish to uh, add the focus, right? Or if you wish to remove them for the focus, you just brush with the black. But if, if you brush with the black, it may happen that there's the sharp lines from these two layers remain, so you should br uh, brush black into this layer mask on the same places as well. Or you can just play the action again using the different brushed area. Alright, so uh, you can change the amount of blur by changing the opacity here. So you can just click on where the opacity drag it to the side. That's what this. So in this example that I'm using, I got a mostly white background, so that place the, the blur is not visible, but you can see on these areas outside of the uh, brush area over here. You see the difference, all right? So you're controlling the blur, uh, the amount of blur by changing the opacity here. So I'm just gonna say this something like this. Here we got a vignette, so we'll just turn it off and on. Uh, you can see what it does, and uh, you can change the opacity here. And what I'm going to do is you can make this uh, vignette border thicker or thinner. So you can just click onto this layer mask, right click and choose the select and mask. And now I'm just going to increase the transparency to 100. So if you just move this to the left, I'm going to make the vignette border thinner. If I move it to the right, I'm just going to make it thicker, right? So I'm just going to make it a little bit thinner, just like this. And uh, I'm just gonna drop the opacity a little bit, something like this. All right, so let me just turn on these two layers. Now, so this one here is the reveal subject details. So basically, it's just going to reveal the details of your subject, so of the area that you have brushed. And you can change the opacity here if you wish to make less details visible, so just like that. I'm just gonna leave it default and um, if you wish to reveal even more details, you can just duplicate this layer. So you can just press Ctrl or Command J on your keyboard. It's going to reveal even more details. And here we got a subject sharpening. So the way you change the sharpening is you change the opacity. So you just click on the word opacity and drag uh, into the side. So for all layers where you that are customized by changing the opacity, you can either click on the word opacity and drag it to the side, or you can just click on this little arrow here and then just move this pointer right, right here, right? I'm just going to leave it to default. And here we got a color look. So when you open the folder, you got a 10 color looks here. All you have to do is to just select the, some of the color look, turn it on, see how it looks. If you don't like it, uh, simply try with another uh, until you find the one that goes the best with your photo. And what you can also do is you can combine a few color looks. For example, turn on this one and this one. And then you just play with the opacities of the boat and create some new color look, all right? I'm just going to use this one here. All right, here we got a photo tint. So when you double click here, you can change the density and you can also choose any filter. All right, I'm going to use this one default here. Just gonna set this something like this in this example, all right. Uh, here we got the overall contrast. So it just uh, gives the contrast to the whole photo and you can click on the word opacity to uh, change the opacity. So just click on the word opacity, drag it to the side to adjust the contrast. And as you can see, this is very sensitive. So I'm just gonna set it to something like this. Okay. Uh, here we got the add vibrance. So when you 
just turn it on, on and off. You see a slightly difference when you uh, double click here and you can change the vibrance value and also saturation. So I'm gonna set the vibrance something like this and just gonna increase the saturation a little bit. Just like that. And here we have the overall brightness. When you double click here, you, can, you get these three pointers here. This one is affecting the shadows, uh, this one the mid tones, and this one the highlights, right? Uh, so, if your photo is too bright, you may wish to just move this pointer to the right. I'm just gonna move this one here. A little bit, just like that. Okay. So that's it, I'm pretty much happy with the effect, let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. Okay, so I hope you understood everything and uh, thanks for watching.